I'm here to introduce you uh, what we're doing in Hungary in terms of uh, HPC um, uh, operation. So I'm here to introduce you uh, the HPC infrastructure in Hungary uh, after a quick introduction of uh, my uh, institution and the program I'm working on uh, in the past uh, eight years now. So um, I'm Zoltan Kish, I'm head of uh, uh, the uh, infrastructure department in uh, Kifu, which is the governmental information technology uh, agency uh, in Hungary. And uh, um, uh, in my presentation, I will uh, quickly introduce you my institution and uh, uh, the services we are offering uh, within uh, NIF uh, program. I will quickly introduce you this program as well. Uh, I will. Uh, tell uh, uh, my, the details of the HPC infrastructure itself and uh, uh, quickly introduce you the access policies and usage and uh, with, with um, an overview of the projects we are working on, uh, specifically uh, the GPU related ones. So uh, the NIF program was executed by uh, NIF Institute. Uh, NIF means uh, the National Information Infrastructure Development Program in Hungary, which is a 30-year-old program focusing on uh, offering uh, different kinds of IT services uh, to academic and uh, and um, educational institutes. Uh, so the everything began with the network itself. So. Uh, we the, the main focus of this institution to, to offer a uh, reliable uh, network uh, for this community. Um, so this is a non-profit, uh, government-funded, and uh, all universities and uh, and uh, research centers are here, including Big Nervia. So probably uh, you're using our internet now, and uh, we are uh, partners are also the public collections. Uh, maintaining the cultural heritage um, uh, and recently we have integrated all the public schools as well in Hungary. Uh, so we have a dark fiber network like this one um, and we have focused dedicated allocation for example for Wigner data center so we are one actually providing the connection between Wigner and, and CERN and uh, uh, now we are developing the, a very similar connection uh, between the ELI European Light Infrastructure sites and pillars uh, as well. So we are integrating uh, another uh, hugely international uh, resource infrastructure. So, so uh, this is our main focus, uh, offering a reliable and high-speed network uh, with 100 uh, gigabit per second and, and, uh, or even more. So. Um, this is a cloud of our technologies and services we are offering and using. So you can see uh, we are not an HPC center alone, but offering different kinds of uh, services for this community, including um, OpenStack-based cloud um, and um, uh, very uh, high capacity uh, storage network and uh, also um, voice over IP and and uh, video streaming solutions. So we have our own YouTube as well, <coughs> offering uh, uh, folk, uh, e learning uh, style um, uh, interface for actually helping our uh, students to, to participate in different courses online. So um, we have a few different um, projects in, in the bottom as well. So we have the uh, Price, which is the partnership for Evans Computing in Europe, which is a, um, a, a HPC collaboration in Europe. Giant is uh, the network uh, collaboration because we are national research and network uh, uh, institution. Uh, uh, Reseam is another uh, HPC collaboration. Uh, Eli Crimes is uh, the one actually integrating the Eli uh, uh, laser pillars. And uh, we have a, a project that's actually focusing um, students uh, drawing uh, from uh, secondary and, and uh, uh, high schools 
uh, to and going to universities how to offer a platform from them. So um, the history uh, began 2001. So this is actually 15 years of uh, serving uh, users with HPC. We are the uh, uh, one actually offering uh, such services for the whole community uh, for a long time. So the, the, everything began with this uh, nice Sun um, 10K. Uh, which was enough to get listed at top 500, which is uh, actual uh, always uh, seeking how to, uh, to reach this. Uh, this is our timeline in terms of uh, uh, capacity. Uh, we are now around uh, half pedal officers second, them, and we are uh, aiming uh, even more in a year. So this is the business you need to constantly develop because. Uh, where it goes by very very fast. So we have different uh, supercomputers, uh, different architectures, uh, distributed setup including five uh, locations. So our partners are basically universities. So uh, all uh, HPC centers are actually located uh, in the basement or in a separate uh, facility within the university campus. So uh, they are our main partners. Um, in terms of uh, hosting and providing the environment. Uh, we have uh, <coughs> uh, co-processors like SunFice and uh, GPU technologies as well. Uh, this is our total capacities and uh, there is uh, uh, 14 kilobytes of storage attached to this infrastructure. So uh, these are our uh, uh, resources on the map, and uh, of course we're using uh, this uh, network, it's high speed network to connect them, so basically those are uh, reachable from all parts of the country, nevertheless uh, so you don't have to sit close to the HPC center itself, and all, all those are integrated, so there's a single sign-on, so there's a single uh, authentication to all these uh, resources. And of course, uh, all are connected to the international uh, mm -hmm. collaborative infrastructures as well. I will tell you the details later. These are the pictures of themselves. So this is uh, uh, to get an overview how much system do we have. This is a huge effort to actually maintain this uh, amount of uh, system. So uh, recently, we have uh, purchased uh, our uh, last uh, four systems in 2015. And uh, so these are different kinds of uh, smaller, some five accelerated one. This is the hugest, the GPU accelerated one. This is also some five. And this is a UV, this is a shared memory system. I will tell you the details like this. So uh, you can see uh, all the details at our wiki page at wiki.nil.au uh, slash HPC. Uh, these are the numbers. Uh, we are offering uh, AMD and Intel some uh, processor and also uh, GPUs uh, from 2010. So these are the older ones that we are uh, operating. And we have this uh, shared memory with six terabytes of RAM uh, for uh, for seven years now. <laughs> so these are our newest systems are only operating for uh, one or two years. Uh, this is a small cluster. We are offering 14 uh, compute nodes, uh, 27 teraflops uh, with uh, two some five. Uh, many core co-processors uh, in each node. We have our biggest uh, top 500 worth computer called LEO, which is uh, accelerated by three NVIDIA K20s uh, uh, on uh, one part of the nodes and, and uh, K40s on the other uh, partition. We have Intel's uh, on all our uh, systems, and this can offer as much as 254 uh, teraflops. Apollo is a uh, cell file accelerated one, uh, which is about 100 teraflops, and uh, we have a smaller uh, shared memory system 
uh, located in Mishkol also, so, which is uh, uh, offering 1.4 terabytes of RAM accessible from uh, uh, to, um, <coughs> by single um, code. This is eight third flops. So uh, this is over our systems. These are, these are of course, uh, pretty much information so you can check out our wiki page if you are interested in details. Uh, what uh, are these are used for? Uh, a huge scale of different uh, domains and research areas. So most of the research arrays are actually exist are using HPC and I think uh, it's more and more like this uh, finance and uh, sociology and uh, all kinds of uh, research arrays and constantly uh, getting uh, uh, use more and more compute resources so I, I believe strongly that this is the future that all kinds of uh, domains will use uh, at the end uh, resources themselves so this is crucial for a uh, country to develop and maintain uh, HPC resources, uh, which is uh, strongly correct, uh, connected to the R&D capacity of the country. Uh, let me uh, sum it up. So we have this aggregated capacity uh, connected with a high-speed network uh, uh, attached uh, High speed and uh, high capacity storage. We have uh, different kinds of application instances, the GPUs and our HPC systems, and uh, this is all uh, supported by uh, team uh, available work hours. So, this is um, all offered for our community, which are basically all the educational and research centers in uh, our country. and. Uh, so this is uh, uh, um, as high as 5,000 organizations all around the country and uh, this is dedicated for non-commercial research and it is free for this community. Of course uh, everyone has to submit a project for preliminary review <coughs> and the uh, project needs to be accepted to gain resources on different uh, HVCs. Uh, this is the um, uh, statistics part. We are uh, running all our systems for one year now, so we have the statistics. And you can see this is uh, in, in one year, we can offer as much as 13 million of core hours for our largest systems. Uh, the, this is the, um, somewhat representing stability and uh, and uh, usage increase uh, in our uh, latest uh, cluster, which is uh, the Apollo and Leo together. So this is the largest uh, GPU and SL5 uh, cluster connected together. This is these are nice round numbers, I believe, and and, and shows the uh, increase in scale in general. And uh, happily, the NVIDIA GPU usage uh, also shows constant. Uh, um, increasing usage in uh, terms of uh, time, so uh, we are very bit worried if uh, these resources will be uh, utilized uh, because this is this is uh, our, our first uh, entirely GPU accelerated cluster we are running, and uh, you can see there is there is a visual tendency. The, the GPU cards were not uh, less used uh, when we started our service, and uh, this is now uh, pretty much utilized. And of course, we are constantly working on to develop these numbers. Uh, we are not uh, that fortunate with the sound files, to be honest. So uh, this was not a success story for us. Yeah, you can say uh, the we, we are at very low utilization rates. Uh, we had uh, some five <coughs> workshop uh, last year, so there is uh, some kind of usage system, but uh, it uh, really needs uh, the effort from the community as well to 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 see how uh, we can increase its numbers. 
<coughs> so in terms of uh, GPUs, uh, I think this is a real, real success. But in terms of this uh, PNC, uh, nice corner, uh, some files, uh, we need to develop uh, these numbers definitely. We have had a survey last year if uh, they are satisfied in general with the JP, GP offers and uh, it turned out uh, uh, there is an increasing number of projects and already a part of the projects are using their GPUs. This is only one system out of eight, so this is, I think, uh, is really nice. And uh, uh, more than half of them is willing to use in the future. And a um, um, third of them basically wants uh, GPU to be developed. These are, these are the examples of uh, uh, of the work that's been done in our systems um, using GPUs. Some of them are actually at GTC this year. Uh, so these are where I, I'm going to sign this myself. So uh, these were I, uh, you can check all those publications online uh, afterwards. But these were I, so like uh, Black Hole Research uh, and uh, and human brain and drug research as well. So <coughs> finding ways how to uh, investigate uh, uh, areas of uh, of cancer treatment, for example. We have a nice uh, integrated job portal where user can monitor the usage and uh, add uh, withdraw user accounts uh, with their project to ask for more computing resources. Uh, storage uh, infrastructures like this. Okay, thanks. Uh, we have uh, uh, iSCSI uh, based um, storage infrastructure which can access by uh, iSCSI native. We have a separate uh, state library <coughs> and we recently purchased an Aegis some systems as well. And we are working on how to integrate all of these resources into uh, one um, infrastructure with uh, middleware. So this is uh, 14 petabytes of storage all around uh, the country. And this is uh, now our uh, biggest collaboration with other um, HPC centers. Uh, this is a partnership for advanced computing in Europe, uh, which uh, is 25 members working together to offer integrated HPC infrastructure. So these are uh, connected with a dedicated network and uh, the biggest HPC centers are connected and offering HPC resources for free uh, via uh, uh, different calls. Uh, I just came back from IC when top 500 list was announced and uh, the top, top three were uh, one at Switzerland uh, called Pizdank, which is uh, actually uh, the third uh, biggest HPC in the world. And uh, this is part of uh, the infrastructure. So um, we can offer um, tens or hundreds of millions of core hours uh, from this infrastructure. And Hungary is also offering uh, some of its uh, resources. Um, and the main focus is H offering HPC resources and offering training as well. So if you're interested in training, the different kinds of uh, classes, summer schools, workshops, uh, seasonal schools, uh, conferences. Uh, we also have a knowledge base and praise, uh, <coughs> helping uh, users optimizing and enabling uh, the codes to be run on the infrastructure. We have a training portal, uh, training.trace-ri.eu and uh, have a GitLab repository con consisting uh, codes for HPC and a MOOC is uh, starting introducing uh, HPC in general. Our other biggest collaboration is offering resources and services for the European Light Infrastructure which, which is called the CERN of Laser Research having one uh, pillar in SEGA and uh, the the aim of this project to collaborate with other external uh, infrastructures. We are participating with like Jean, Praise, EGI, and AU that. Uh, we have all, uh, different projects already running related to laser research, uh, and uh, they said they could actually <coughs> utilize it for HPCs, but we would not be that happy about that one. But they definitely need huge amount of research for that uh, laser related work there. 
So if you're interested in the details, we have a uh, web page hpc.nil.au with all the details, it's actually available in English as well. And have a wiki page with all the details uh, describing the machines and the access process. And they also have the introductory videos there. So thank you for your uh, attention. Any questions? Since Debit Zen has a special place in my heart, I couldn't have noticing that most of the CPU GPU resources in Debit Zen is the largest thing that reason for that? Uh, now, there's a reason uh, for um, uh, financing. Basically, the European funding is, uh, is uh, for the, the non, <coughs> I mean, uh, non um, central region. So, we have to find a uh, partner who actually can help us de uh, deploy the the, our, our newest, uh, largest HPC, and this was a uh, Debrecen. We have uh, collaborated uh, with them to actually be on a separate uh, data center there, this one, and uh, uh, campus at Kostai Street. And uh, we are uh, actually taking up the building itself, and we have uh, built the data center into it. And they also have offices there. So uh, they were the ones actually offering this kind of collaboration. Okay, next one. I wanted to ask that <coughs> when will be the next uh, wave of acquisition? Uh, we are expecting it uh, next year, so uh, it has to happen next year uh, because we want to actually uh, dismantle our uh, six or seven year old infrastructure. So uh, we, we urge it to happen in 2018. On one of the slides, you showed that the Intel file cards have uh, fairly low usage, and uh, I think that the if the new Knights and Link processors, there are host processors, they lower the barrier of entry, and it's much easier to use, much like a ordinary CPU cluster. So those might receive higher attention. Yeah, we are taking a deeper look at into Iceland. And, uh, those are actually host processors, so much easier to, to <coughs> use. Uh, and uh, it's, um, yeah, we are investigating those as an option. Do your HPC centers have FPGAs? And if not, so do you plan on adding them in the future? Uh, not. Uh, we don't have uh, currently FPGAs. Of course, um, using each, uh, and offering FPGAs are uh, a bit harder because we have a very diverse community. So, uh, of course, the HPC uh, with the scheduler, it's easy to schedule all different kinds of jobs. With the FPG, it's not that easy to actually redeploy uh, <coughs> these. Um, so, if we have, uh, we, we, if we wouldn't have that uh, diverse community uh, and we would uh, offer dedicated resource space, uh, I think it would be easier to actually offer resources like this one. Um, I, would, I would encourage you to um, check out what I check, the Irish Center for High End Computing does, because they offer FPGAs and everything somehow they solve the same thing. Okay, I will ask them. Please go. We have time for a last question. Yeah. Just to clarify, guys, that they are not used at all, and I think a lot of people will be very happy to use. But if I know there are several softwares <coughs> use native modes, definitely Chromas use Firecast native modes, and they are not implemented in the clusters. I see native modes should be implemented, and then. Is four percentage or two percentage would go up to eighty percentage or something like that. Yes, uh, thanks for the question. Uh, we are working on to actually provide more applications uh, uh, pre compiled for uh, some files. Of course, we also have a huge effort to, to actually develop those. Uh, and we are already uh, working on this because we, yeah realize that uh, uh, our impression is that people tend to uh, use GPUs more 
and uh, all of these are actually have a precompiled version for GPUs, and this is somehow <coughs> seems to be even more easier to access and download and install. Uh, so they are when they are choosing which resource to use, they tend to choose the GPU for the same uh, same kind of uh, uh, world workload. Yes, but you know, if uh, the GP, if I have to wait two weeks in the GP cluster, I would be happy to use and I would be happy to compile. I tried, but since there is no native mode allowed. Yes, <coughs> yeah, we are working on that as well, yes. So they are not offering native mode currently. Um, <coughs> I will get back with details mm, um, of this one. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's thank the speaker again.